mambo habari gani karibuni sana katika somo la leo welcome to today's lesson and uh, in this session particularly we will be looking at how to construct negative sentences negative sentences particularly on the present negating now for example i am not going you're not going he or she is not eating we are not eating quick so hili how do we do that so tuendelee karibuni sana the first thing that we'll be looking at our negative subject prefixes this time we are very specific we're looking at i am not you are not singular he or she is not we are not you plural you all are not and they are not that is the subject prefixes that we'll be starting from remember on the previous lesson where we learned these subject prefixes who ha had to those are the ones that we'll be looking at on the present tense or on the present sentence present negating now we do not have a tense that's why i have put here no tense but then we are going to add our verbs at the end just like the other examples that had given kucheka to laugh kucheza to play so that is going to be our structure but let's look at it deeply kwakiswahili so we are going to start with our subject prefixes on the negative i am not in swahili c can you say it c you are not do you remember it who he or she is not ha we are not ha to you all you plural are not ham and they are not quick so hili how these are going to be our subject prefixes that means they're going to start our first part of our sentences the next thing that you're going to have a look at are our tenses the negative present sentences now the structure how do we put it all together so we're going to start with our subject prefix and then we get followed by the verb remember when you're negating now i am not going you he or she is not eating you just add your first subject prefix plus the verb straight away for example you have given us the verb love or like penda so because the band, the verb is a band to verb that means it end with a syllable the last suffix is a we're going to replace that a with an e that's what we're going to see i don't like sipendi if you've got an arabic verb for example travel safiri kusafiri we are going to keep your last suffix i at the end which is the sound e kwakiswahili husafiri you are not traveling husafiri you are not traveling again note that for arabic verbs ending with a e or u do not change their suffixes so let's have a look at an example a real example that we can do together so that we can understand how to construct this sentence kwakiswahili here i've given us on the left hand um uh, a table with the subject prefixes and a modal verb that you're going to use penda and then we're going to construct this together with you are you ready come on let's go for the first one i don't like we've done that example a lot so i on the negative i'm not c or i don't c plus the verb is penda we put there but remember because the verb is a band to verb that means it ends with an a we are going to replace that a to an e so it's going to read as sipendi kiswahili kizuri sana good swahili sipendi good then the second sentence that you're going to construct is you don't like you don't like so you on the negative you come here who so can you construct that for me hupendi hupendi perfect the next sentence you're going to construct is he or she doesn't like he or she doesn't like i want you to have a go and you start the session for me go for it construct it for me hapendi i hope you had that as your sentence hapendi fantastic the next one your turn have a go we don't like we don't like that's your sentence to construct put it together hatupendi we don't like what about you plural don't like you plural don't like you all don't like let's hear how you'd construct that let's see how you construct it 
write it down, share it, work Swahili, and then we'll see how that goes. Hampendi, Hampendi, perfect. What about the last one? They don't like. Your turn. Hawapendi. That is how you can construct a sense-making sentence called Swahili on the negative. So that was using our mode of verb penda, which means love or like. Let's have a look at how we can construct another sentence using the mode of verb jua. Now this is becoming much more fun. I hope you're enjoying it. So I want you to construct the first sentence. I don't know. I don't know. See? Plus the verb. And because the verb is a Bantu verb, you're going to end it with an E at the end. Remember it ends with a Jua. Always listen to your sounds on your verb so that you can know whether you're going to replace them or not. So on the negative it becomes Si Jui. You don't know. Your turn. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I hope you're now going to construct them quickly. Uh -huh. He or she doesn't know. Go for it. Hajui. What about we don't know? Hatu. Jui. What about you, plural, don't know? Ham. Jui. What about they don't know? Hawa. Jui. Kiswahili kizuri sana. So that's how you can construct these negative sentences. Kwa Kiswahili using the verb jua. I hope you're enjoying it. The next sentence yes. we're going to have a look at is constructing our sentence using a verb, furahi, which means to be happy, and a noun, today, kwakswahili. So let's see how we can construct this kwakswahili. I'm not happy today. You're going to start with your I am not, and I'm, I want you to listen to the verb furahi, so I'm giving you a clue. And then... Hey, sifurahi leo, which means I am not happy today. Remember, this is an Arabic verb ending with an E. So you keep your last syllable E. You keep it. Do not change. You keep it in your sentence. You are not happy today. You are not happy today. You go. You go first. Aha. Who? Furahi. Leo, you're not happy today. What about he or she is not happy today? He or she is not happy today. Again, your go and the layer. Hafurahi, Leo. What about we are not happy today? Hatufurahi, Leo. What about you all? You plural. You all are not happy Remember you all? Hamfurahi leo. What about they are not happy today? Asante sana. Hawafurahi leo. That's how you can construct your sentences using the Arabic verb furahi, which means happy, to be happy, on the negative, Kwakswahili. Asante sana. What about if I gave you a verb, two verbs together. So the verb can or ebo, Kwakswahili, it's weza, and the verb si is ona. So we want to see how you can construct these sentences, Kwakswahili. For example, I can't see. You can't see. Apologies there. You can't see. Sawa kabisa. So how would we construct these sentences, Kwakswahili? So let's have a look at the first sentence here. I can't see. I'm not able to see. Kwakswahili. How would we make those sentences? So, I can't see. You're going to start I, negative, plus your verb. Ah, did you notice that? It's an Arabic verb. It's a, sorry, it's a Bantu verb. That means it ends with an A, so you're going to change the A to an E. Siwezi. 
C. Because it's a second verb, I can't see. Because it's a second verb, you're going to start your second verb with your infinitive to. Siwezi kuona. Kuona is to see. But the negative is on the first part of the sentence. Siwezi kuona. Let's look at the second sentence here. Let's make it a little bit bigger for us to see. You can't see. Kwakswahili. You can't see. You're not able to see. You negative. Do not forget that. You start with your who. Plus the verb. Able. Can. But because it's on the negative, it becomes si huwezi plus to see kuona. I hope you got that one. You can't see. Huwezi. You negative plus the verb ending with an e because it's an bantu verb. And then the second part of the sentence must start with your infinitive to do something. Ku. Ku kwa Kiswahili means to. So I can't, you can't see. Huwezi kuona. What about he or she is not able to see? He or she is not able to see. Your go. You go first before we see the answer. He or she is not able to see. Construct it. Hawezi kuona. What about we are not able to see? We are not able to see. Hatuwezi kuona. What about you plural are not able to see? Whoa, it's becoming longer. It's fun. Go for it. You go first. You plural, you all are not able to see. Hamwezi kuona. Some students get confused with uh, pronouncing the MW here. Hamwezi. Hamwe. Hamwezi kuona. Some people say hamwezi kuona, but hamwezi kuona is still perfectly correct. They are not able to see. You go first. They are not able to see. That's your sentence, quick Swahili. Hawawezi kuona. Hawawezi kuona. A bit of a mouthful of words there, but you can do it perfectly. Hawawezi kuona. Perfect. So that's one a nice challenging verb with two verbs, but you're negating the first one. Now let's have a look at another sentence where you're going to have a verb and two nouns. Osha means wash. Osha means wash. Also sometimes it means clean. Wash it, clean it. Osha. Some people use sufficient, but I've used osha in this case. I'm not washing utensils today. Whoa. Such a long sentence, but I know you can do it. Let's make it bigger for us to be able to see it properly. I'm not washing the utensils today. I'm not washing utensils today. See? Ah, did you remember that? Siyoshi, because of the a, ah, it's a Bantu verb. So you change that a ah and add an i at the end. Siyoshi. How easy was that? Vyombo and today, leo means the same utensils and today it's just you add them at the end so this is the hardest part of the sentence to construct but once you do it easily like you have done it it becomes so much fun sante sana siyoshi vyombo leo what about you are not washing the utensils today i know you can do that for me go for it Washi vyombo leo. He or she is not washing the utensils today. What about he or she is not washing the utensils today? How would you say that, Kwekswahili? Your go. Your turn. What about the next one? We are not washing the utensils today. <laughs> there you go, Santa Sana. You plural, you all are not washing the utensils today. How would you say that? And in some cases, sometimes you see a W added there. This is because in front of a vowel, in front of a vowel, because the verb is kuosha, so when you remove the infinitive ku, you're left with osha. In front of a vowel, the, we always add a W to make it easier to pronounce that verb, or that word. That doesn't mean that ham oshi 
Vyombo leo is wrong. Both these sentences, whether it has a W or whether it is just an M on its own, they are both grammatically correct. Kwekswahili. They are not cleaning or washing the utensils today. How would you say that? Yo, go. Go fast. Jaribu, try. Hawaoshi vyombo leo. Sante sana. Perfect. You've done it brilliantly. You've done it brilliantly. So, thank you for doing this lesson and on the negative it's always a scare for many people to do the negative sentences but check out our quizzes for more practice i've given you lots of sentences to try and construct and also challenging ones so that you can become better at constructing swahili negative sentences on the present and uh, check out our lesson next lesson hasn't haven't the present perfect tense in negative swahili how do we do it and uh, looking forward to see you next Oh, Harry.